The major WHO criterion for diagnosis of mastocytosis is presence of 15 or more mast cells in clusters in bone marrow. In addition to the major criterion, there are four minor criteria. Uh, one of them is a tryptase level. The second minor criterion is the shape of the mast cell um, is abnormal in mastocytosis in comparison to a normal mast cell, uh, which is because they have an abnormal gene, which brings us to the third criterion, uh, which is uh, the mutation in the CKIT gene at the codon 816. And finally, the fourth uh, minor criterion is presence of an abnormal surface marker uh, called CD25. The marker that is most commonly used to indicate mast cell degranulation has occurred is tryptase. It needs to be measured within four hours after mast cell activation and it needs to be compared to the patient's baseline. Uh, if the tryptase level is elevated over the patient's baseline after an episode, then there is a very good indication of mast cell activation. And the higher the tryptase level, the more chances that the diagnosis of mastocytosis um, is correct. However, a normal tryptase level do not necessarily uh, rule out mastocytosis. Uh, we have seen many patients with uh, tryptase levels uh, within a normal range, and um, in those patients the diagnosis could only be established by a bone marrow biopsy and aspiration by demonstrating the abnormal clustering of mast cells in the bone marrow. If a patient comes in with symptoms that are reminiscent of allergy that involve more than just one organ, more than the lungs for instance, uh, to me it's already uh, a flag that we might be dealing with more problems. You add gastrointestinal problems to that, it becomes hotter. Uh, you add actually neurologic or bladder problems, you're burning hot. Um, and, and that's how I would go at it. And I would not send a patient away to another colleague before at least myself or through one of my colleagues uh, do the 24-hour urine test and at least a serum tryptase and the reason why I prefer the 24-hour urine is because that collects the molecules that we're looking for over a period of time while tryptase goes up and down within a couple of hours so you just might miss that episode and you'll never know. Mastocytosis can be diagnosed at any age. We usually see two peaks. Uh, one occurs in children, usually within the first six months of life. And these uh, patients have a benign prognosis, usually. Uh, they grow out of these skin lesions by the time they reach adolescence. The second peak occurs in around uh, the fourth and fifth decades of life, but uh, it can be essentially seen in any age. Um, sometimes I get a bellyache. I feel a little itchy. And a little red. Living with a systemic mast cell disorder is extremely difficult, primarily because of the unpredictability of the symptoms. You can feel perfectly fine when you get up in the morning, dressed to go somewhere, and as you're going out the door, you can suddenly get chest pain or abdominal pain and uh, you, your plans are way late. Definitely the abdominal pain, bloating, and diarrhea are the ones that interrupt my life most frequently. In the last year or so, I've been in, able to eat pickles and anything fermented. Um, peppers have become a trigger for me. Um, and it's kind of an adventure, you know, sometimes you can get by with a little bit, but the next day, it'll hit you. Um, sun. Sun has been a trigger. Uh, it, heat, primarily, more than the sun. Sun will kind of make you itchy, but the heat itself will make me lightheaded, um, nasally, um, as, and if I'm in the heat too long, I'll get achy and tired and just unable to think very well. I was diagnosed with mastocytosis as a result of um, hives that I had for um, probably about three or four months before I was diagnosed. Hives all over my body, um, nausea, um, I always, you know, flushing. Um, I couldn't stay at work. I couldn't stand to be hot. I was extremely tired. It's a roller coaster of symptoms. 
and you never know where you're going to land. I went and visited an allergist who's now retired, Harold Freeman, up at Dartmouth Hitchcock after these anaphylactic episodes. And uh, he tested me for stinging insect allergies and found that I basically was free of any kind of allergens to any stinging insects. He said, I think something else at play here. He says, how long have you had that rash on your skin? And I said, I don't, I don't know, 10, 5, 10 years, why? He says, what is it? And I said, well, I was told it's chronic hair follicle infections, folliculitis. He says, I don't think so. And the whole dermatology department at Hitchcock came and ma masked around me, and they weren't scratching my body and trying to check out what was going on. And in the end, they did a uh, biopsy of one of the lesions, and it was mastocytosis. So they could see hundreds of times the amount of mast cells in there that would normally be present. One very important aspect of uh, management of mastocytosis is prescription of self-injectable epinephrine. Even if the patient uh, has not experienced any anaphylaxis, unless there is a good reason not to prescribe epinephrine, I usually prescribe self-injectable epinephrine to all of my patients who uh, are diagnosed as having mastocytosis because uh, symptoms of anaphylaxis or uh, loss of consciousness, syncope may occur uh, without any precedent uh, in an otherwise uh, asymptomatic patient. So we concentrate on blocking the mast cell mediators. The blocking of the mast cell mediators is at two different levels. The first level is at blocking the release of those mediators from the mast cells. We give a compound that's called sodium chromoline and sodium chromalin can be given in different forms. It can be given orally, it's called gastrochrome, or it can be given an inhalation, it's called intel, or nasally, nasal chrome, or ocularly. So there is many forms in which this compound can be given, and this compound has been shown to have very strong properties at inhibiting the mast cell mediated release. The second line would be to block the receptors of the mediators that have been released. 